Hello, this video is about a bench scale where the weight was fluctuating 100, 200 pounds up and down and the problem was actually the load cell so it, you could tell because we tried calibrating multiple times still went up and down no matter what we did it still wouldn't calibrate so we got to do this is a 900 BSL so you got to open up the back I already removed the screws These two screws. So it's only for the 900 BSL. So you gotta get a mini flathead and move all these right here. These are the load cell cables. So you move it from there. And if you have a 900 BMS or SS where you have a five pin connector, you would just remove the five pin. So it's a little bit easier on those. This is the washdown model, so more waterproof and this particular model load cell is completely bad most likely damaged wiring so no matter what the whole else has to come out and replace a whole new one so if you ever wanted to see how a load cell looks down here so you see the metal housing the cable yours will still be coming out from here so you're going to remove these four screws and remove the top plate, which I've done. And I have access to your load cell. So what you're going to have to do is make sure that the screws are in the back so you don't tip over. The, the back falls out. Just lift up. And you're going to be removing the bottom four load cell screws. Once that is done, you're going to actually pop off the load cell and you can see the model is 300 kg take it out fish it through the hole here this should come all the way out and you can see how he took out the cable so put it back make sure it's here and what we're actually going to do is hold it down tipping it over and we're going to put those screws to the bottom of this so I used to hold on Okay, so it's a low cell cable. I have three screws in. You'll notice how it's a hex screw. It's the same for the other side, so you just make sure it goes all the way in. I use a drill, tighten it down. So just make sure they're all the way tight. I have all my screws in. You can see the low cell cable itself. So make sure that the cable goes through here, the bottom of the frame. You see it's the bottom of well, the feet sure the feet are all attached now the tricky part is actually making the cable go through the column so make sure it goes all the way through and it'll start sticking out from the other side let's see if it went through okay it's starting to go through you gotta give a little bit of slack in there that probably should be enough if not you can always loosen down later Okay, cable's fine. So you're gonna put your bench scale down. A little bit of extra cable right now, but that's fine. Here's your load cell, so now put your cover on. So there's only one way it should go on. You make sure that it's actually leveled. You see how it's all leveled? If you flipped it, so if yours look like this, you'll notice how the holes don't match up. So make sure that the frame is this way and not the other way. You'll know when it fits properly. Okay, so now make sure the holes line up and put all your screws in down all your holes but anyways you have this here so put the pan back on and cool. actually first wire it up then we're gonna go to calibration okay just to show the pan see the indentation in the pan it goes over it so you're actually gonna over it. pan make sure it's on and now we're actually gonna go through the wiring so on the 900 bsl you have to Loosen up, make sure the wire goes all the way through. You don't have to go too far in because you know the cables go here. 
So you'll see EXC positive, the plus, that's the red cable. SIG plus is the green cable. HD is the ground. SIG negative is the white cable. And EXC negative is black. So you're going to go counterclockwise. Make sure they're all loose. All the way down. And then feed the wire in and make sure to go all the way in and screw it down. All of this is only for the 900 BSLs or ASL. If you have the MS, SS, you just have a normal 5 pin, you just plug it in. But for the wiring, you see how I put it all the way in and I made sure they're all the way tight. There's no, you can't see the metal tips. And I could tug on each cable and did not come out. So they're all tight in there. And now I could put the housing down. For now, I'm only going to put two of these screws on in diagonals. Just so I can see if the calibration is fine. And then I'll close it up for sure when it's all done. So we're going through the calibration steps. Okay, the pan is back on go into calibration so I'm gonna hold down the hold and print button you might get an error 6 so you just go to C01 so this particular model is a 16 by 20 400 by 0 0.05 so C1 is 2 that's for pounds that's fine press 0 C02 so C20 so for me in my situation it's two decimal places C03 so I put C03 to five there's 0 0.05 accuracy the five is how it's going to be counting by 0 0.05 incrementing and then c04 for me will be 400 400.00 0 .00, that's my maximum capacity of my bench scale c05 that's a zero calibration with no weight on it so my dental one there's nothing on the scale currently. So C51, press print. That's good, it says zero. Now C06, make that to one. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use 50 pounds, so I'm gonna input 50 pounds. So 50.00. Now I'm going to add my 50 pound weight on scale. 50 pounds on there, so I press print. Count down. So the number it appears, and then cal end. Remove the weight from the scale. So I'm going to move my 50 pound weight. Cal end, press print. C07, so I can press the accum button, ACCM, to save and exit. C0.00. Add my 50 pound weight on there. 50.00 so when I remove the weight it goes back to zero and that's how you change a load cell and calibrate a bench scale it could either be a 900 BSL an A MS or whatever it is